Hey everybody, my name is Helena Holrick. This is your shiny shove, which is a tiny little nudge in your day, a tiny little shake it up. <coughs> Excuse me. In a little shake it up in, in some way in your thinking, in your being, that just allows you to have a better time during the day. So, today's little tiny subject is um, being patient in the face of demand. Because you know, here's the thing. I, so I work as a coach and a mentor. I help people think things through. I help people to really kind of get clear about what they're doing. But here's the thing. Until somebody's ready, they just don't necessarily step up or remember that you've already taught them the thing several times over. And the thing is, is that I could let that create real frustration for me, or I could simply be in celebration that I've kind of done the patience piece up until this moment to now that they've got it. So what are the demands that are being made of you? You know, the things that make you slightly irksome or frustrated, that's when you know that, that this is kind of, it's time to be patient when you have that kind of frustration. Because actually, if somebody's finally stepping up and saying, I really want this, then that means they're finally ready. You might have been ready for them to be ready ages ago. But when they finally make that decision, the trick is to be really patient and simply go, I'm so glad you asked. Here is what you're actually asking for. Now, I said being patient in the face of a demand. I don't necessarily mean it as a, you must tell me now kind of thing. I just mean in the face of what they are now requiring so much that it comes out with an urgency of demand. I have no idea what this flick of hair is doing, so we'll just ignore that. Well, I'll do my best too. So, so being patient in the face of a demand, i.e. a request that has come potentially many times over, do your best to actually just stay in the celebration of, oh my God, mm -hmm. they finally get why that's important. So on that note, mm -hmm. go out, have a listen for it, and I will catch you tomorrow. Many blessings. Oh, and let me know how you get on. Obviously, I'd love to know in the comments. Many blessings.